All right. Uh, <clears throat> so, sorry this took me a little bit to, to get to it. It's a holiday weekend here. Uh, but I wanted to take a little time to talk about some of the things that we had uh, were doing in class. Uh, first, I wanted to jump over and uh, I wanted to show you guys uh, some of the issues that that um, had come up as we were compositing inside of Houdini. Right. So here we are back, and I've or reorganized um, my my little comp here um, to make this a little bit uh, easier for me to follow. Right. Just using uh, I, I think it was just hitting period while while clicking on something uh, alt maybe yep okay so it's alt so alt will uh, make a uh, knot in your um, or point that you can pull things off of so I do this to make things a little bit easier so one of the things that was happening as we were color correcting uh, and putting things together, we were doing several things. One, we kept adding together our alpha channel, okay, which was very problematic. Um, whenever you add the alpha channel to itself over and over and over again, you'll get black edges around your image. And uh, I don't have the the um, oh, sorry, I don't have the uh, image up that would show that. But you know, if you go back to our previous lecture, you would have seen that uh, our elephant here had some pretty dark, um, thick black edges. Okay, so there's two things that we have to do when we're compositing. Okay, and this is this has to do with Nuke, this has to do with Neutron, this has to do with uh, Houdini. Okay, one is when we have something that we are wanting to color correct. So let me go back um, here like this. All right, so as we are uh, wanting to manipulate something, so let's see, which one have I... Got a nice color correct on. Let's walk through this. This is okay. Okay, so in this case, let me just go to the end. I'm sorry I'm all over the place here. So I'm gonna go down to my end here, and I'm going to ignore this, these couple of pre-multiplies that I was doing here, okay? So I'm going to take all these guys and I'm going to ignore them. Okay, and let's see if that changed or not. Oh, it looks like you might not have to. Uh, you might not have to inside of Houdini. So depending on the compositing packages, sometimes color corrects will actually do an unpremultiply. Um, for you, which that's what this checkbox is supposed to do. But anyway, best habit to get into when compositing is if you're going to color correct an image that has an associated alpha channel, okay, is we take our image, which in this case is this elephant here, okay, if we look at the alpha channel of that elephant, let's see, where's my alpha channel? So we see the alpha, and it even has this little haze there, which comes from this, that kind of diffusion blur effect that I showed you. Okay, and in this case, what I'm doing is I'm coming down and I'm doing a switch alpha. Okay, and so this you would do inside of Nuke with a with a, uh, a, a channel copy, I believe it's called, and I'll show it to you Neutron here in just a minute. Okay, so now you see I've put back in my original alpha. Okay, so I have my my image, but my original alpha put back into that. Now I can unpremultiply. So it says premultiply because that's what it's called inside of Houdini. It's just premultiply, and you select whether you want to multiply by the alpha or divide by the alpha. In this case, the first operation is to divide by the alpha channel. Okay. Then we do our color correction, and then we go ahead and multiply by the alpha. Cool. So now we add those two things together, and you will notice that if we look at our alpha channel, when we add together these two different branches. Okay, you see their alpha channel looks like that, and then we add them together, and oh, it changed. Did you see that? Right? It changed. Okay, so now what happens if we don't do this part here, so let's come down to our final look, and we're going to go ahead and look at our color. If we don't switch back in our alpha, okay, look at that, because we've actually doubled up the alpha. And so those pixels that are dark around the edge, because it's a pre-multiplied image, get applied even darker. 
okay? So this is a little bit of compositing lesson, um, I know, which isn't what this class is about, but lighting has a lot to do with compositing as we understand what images are, okay? So you see by doing the same operation we did before, which is to take the color and pipe that into the first input and then use this switch alpha, and we went and got, um, oops, we went and got this original path, right, which is just taking an untouched uh, image. Okay, there, so that's that. So I'm going to actually stop this recording and give it to you guys in three parts today.